Some fakes are genuinely rather brilliant, so it can be hard to spot them. I like to save a few bucks on new shoes, but I don't want to buy fake Yeezys, not to mention counterfeit condoms. In general, the best advice is old advice. If the price seems too good to be true, it probably is. But these tips will help you spot item-specific clues that point to a poser product. Amazing! Number 10. Designer Bags Chanel and Louis Vuitton bags are both popular and priced like the high-end designer accessories they are. And as a result, these brands are often faked. With Chanel bags, look at the logo, two overlapping Cs. This is called the CC lock, and it's usually a piece of metal that appears on a snapper closure. On a genuine Chanel bag, the Cs will always be centered and overlap correctly, with the left C on top and the right C on the bottom. You should also check the strap to make sure the stitching is clean and even. This is also a useful tip to make sure you're Louis isn't a fooey, or fake Louis. Additionally, Louis patterns will always match up at the seams if the bag is genuine, and hardware should be heavy, not hollow. Some lines are made in different parts of the world, so knowing where the particular line was manufactured may also tip you off to a fooey. Number 9. Fake News Believe it or not, news is a product. Every time you click on a piece of news, real or not, advertisers paid the site. To avoid being part of the fake news problem, consider the source. Have you heard of it before? Is it a real news source? Some sites may look similar to a real site, like ABC News. But if you look closer, the URL has a few extra letters that the actual site doesn't have. Also look for clickbaity headlines. If it includes the phrase, you won't believe, you probably shouldn't believe whatever it says. Real journalists give you the facts and don't presume to know what the reader will believe. Check sources cited, if there are any. Sometimes they lead to sites that have nothing to do with the information in the article. Likely because many people never go to the trouble of looking. The next time you see an article above a world leader shaking hands with aliens or accepting a bribe of a bazillion gold bars, make sure the sources cited don't lead back to a satire site, even one endorsed by the aliens. Number 8. Electronic Products Electrical products should have one or more safety certifications when made by a legitimate manufacturer. UL, or Underwriters Laboratory, is the most common one in the US, but you may also see an ETL mark. European electrical products are required to carry a CE marking, and the CSA mark is common on Canadian electrical goods. You should get familiar with what these marks look like on legitimate products as these markings from products made in places like China are often disproportioned. Be careful not to confuse the CE Euro mark with the China export mark. The two logos look similar, but the C and E are much more closely spaced on the China mark, which is placed arbitrarily and doesn't confer adherence to any safety standards. Keep in mind that if any marking is present on the packaging but not the product itself, it's likely a fake. Number 7. Fake Shoes Nikes are commonly faked so you should inspect them carefully before you just do it and buy a pair, especially when purchasing online. Compare the image of the shoes you're considering with an image of the original when buying from an online auction site. Also avoid listings that claim the item is custom, which suggests it's different because it was altered for a previous owner. Unfortunately, it's more likely to be different because it's fake. When examining the product in person, look at the quality of the box. Fakes are often sloppily glued. Then examine the shoes. The midsoles may have dots, which don't appear on genuine Nikes. Real Nikes are also fully laced, while fakies may skip every other hole. Unfortunately, Adidas Yeezys are another commonly faked line of sneakers. Look for the lines to run left to right on the wave pattern. Top to bottom indicates a fake. The stitching down the middle of the upper will run all the way down and under the tip of the outsole on the real deal. Genuine Yeezys also have heel tabs with exactly nine stitches across the center box. Ironically, the pattern on the laces may trip up a fake Yeezy dealer, as the lace pattern is always different from that on the upper of real Yeezys. Number 6. Beanie Babies Beanie Babies, especially the rare and popular ones, are often faked. If you want to avoid crying like a baby over your fake beanie, look for these signs. Check the letter, size, and gold foil of hang tags. The foil is one of the biggest problems with fake beanies. It should be smooth and even around the edge of the tag. With fakes, the foil tends to have an uneven look, and may even flake off when rubbed between your fingers. You can also look up possible tag combinations in collector sites, so you know if the combination is possible for that particular beanie. Number 5. Counterfeit Condoms 
If it sounds like they're just making counterfeits of everything these days, they are, including counterfeit condoms. Yes, that is a thing. If you want to avoid getting screwed by these fakes, look out for poor printing quality on the boxes, and sometimes the foil wrapper. Names may be misspelled, like Durex, with two X's. What, they didn't want to go for a triple X rating on those love gloves? In general, remember it's best to buy condoms from reputable retailers rather than online or at a kiosk. Number four, iPad. Given their popularity, it's not surprising iPads are frequently faked. Usually fakes are obvious from just a quick glance at the device. It seems obvious, but make sure the Apple logo appears on the back and the screen quality is good, not pixelated. But if you're still unsure about an iPad's authenticity right off the bat, try to launch Siri. This app will not work on a faux iPad. iTunes will not connect to a fake either. Navigating through setting, general, about will take you to a serial number which you can check on Apple's website for authenticity. If the number doesn't match up, don't bite into that Apple. It's a fake. Number three, bikes and bike gear. Prestigious bike brands like Specialized and Zip are the most commonly counterfeited bike brands. And everything from accessories to entire bike frames may be faked. If you want to avoid being taken for a ride, check to see if the seller is an authorized dealer. Usually the maker will have a list of authorized resellers on their website. Stickers on bike gear should indicate the item meets US safety standards. With a fake frame, it may be possible to tell it's fake after you've bought and installed it. You might notice the dropouts are misaligned. or stand standard water bottle cage bolts don't fit. Some people notice fake bikes feel unstable when sprinting. If you notice any of these issues, try to return the item as soon as possible. Frames aren't the only faked item though. Make sure helmets include the roll cage if one is advertised and check the weight if you're shopping in person. A fake helmet may also be lighter than the real thing. Number two, Beats by Dre. Beats by Dr. Dre are high quality headphones, but you may hear the beat of a different drum, a much lower quality one. If you buy a pair of fake Beats, look inside the box for the official warranty document and user guide, which come with every real set of the headphones. Check spelling and the spacing of copy on the box. Fakes often have misspelled words, poor grammar, and uneven spacing. You should also make sure headphones match the color on the box. A different color usually means the item inside isn't the original occupant and is likely fake. Also, compare the serial number on the headphones to that on the box. They should match. The Beats branded logo should be accurate and good quality, with smooth edges. Number one. Fake Rolex. I often find myself looking at a watch and wondering, is that a Rolex or a Folex? If you have access to the bag and box, that's the best place to start. The real Rolex bag has the logo at the bottom of the bag on the outside and the inside top flaps on both sides. While a fake may have a large logo centered on the outside of the bag, the outer box itself should be cream colored with the Rolex crown. Fakes may be green or other colors. Inside the box, the real watch should have a black dial and the sweep of the second hand should be smooth. And then look at the date, which will be clear and centered on a real Rolex and magnified by two times. On fake, the number is off-center and less clear, and often not magnified by two times. The bezel on a real Rolex GMT should turn both directions, clockwise and counterclockwise, and should make no sound. The bezel of a fake Rolex often makes a clicking noise when turned. If you notice any of these problems or hear a bezel click when turned, you should turn around and leave that fake Rolex behind. It isn't worth the money. Have you seen a shining example of how to spot a fake product? Let me know in the comment section down below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like and subscribe, clicking that bell icon to never miss a new video. Thanks for watching.